Yeah, well, I took some bone out of that second toe. So there's your before. And there's your after. All right. And let's take a look at your picture here. Why well, have to photograph? There it is. And there's your foot. Just got done taking an x-ray of it. So, how you feeling? I feel awesome. <laughs> how was your nap? Good? Like nothing happened. Like nothing happened. All right. Perfect. And you came in from where? Hawaii. That's right. What, which, which All island? the way from Hawaii, and I paid my own cash, <laughs> even though I have insurance. Money well spent. All right. Very good. What island are you coming in from? Oahu. Oahu. All right. That is one big bunion you had, and now it's gone. All right. Well, this is Alan. Alan is just now five days after surgery. Well, I hit a little bit of discomfort because his bandages was too tight and uh, as soon as he cut it looser, it felt a lot better. And he had extremely large bunion here. Matter of fact, Alan flew in from Hawaii to have this done. You can see that the angle between these two lines here is actually 21 degrees, which is extremely large. And the vast majority of surgeons across the country would have chosen to do a lapidus or lapoplasty type of procedure to fuse this joint to make this go straight. And then they would address the bunion. And you can see the sesamoid, there's two of them, is extremely subluxed. And the great toe is leaning so hard it's crossing underneath the second toe as you see on the before picture and the after picture. So now let's compare the after x-ray we can see that the toe is nice and straight. The sesamoids have been realigned and there's no more bone sticking out beyond this edge of this bone here. As we do see, that edge of that same bone is over here and how much bone sticks out over there. And also we had to do a secondary procedure obviously to straighten out the second toe and what's called the hammer toe procedural arthroplasty at this level right over here, straighten out the toe. And we restored his joint space because that was subluxed as well. You don't see any joint space hardly at all in that expert over there. All right, so let's look at Alan's foot. This is now just five days after surgery. Again, Alan flew in from uh, Hawaii. Alan, tell us how the surgery went for you. Well, I stepped through the whole thing. When I woke up, was able to walk to the car. It was uh, it was painless. And tell us how you found us here, coming all the way from Hawaii. Uh, a friend of mine that lives in Orange County, I showed her my bunion. I was explaining to her how they were going to fuse the, the two toes and all the uh, complexities uh, after surgery that I could potentially have. The surgeon or the podiatrist told me that it would be likely that I would have or develop arthritis in the third, fourth, and fifth toes because all of my weight would then bear on those toes. I did go out of network. I paid my own money to come here and I'm happy with every penny. So. Okay, appreciate that. All right, well, Alan is going to be bandaged up. He's going to be walking around in this boot. He's going to be bearing all his weight, and we'll see how he's walking here in just a minute. Alan's foot. He is now just shy of two weeks after surgery and we can see how severe that bunion looks sticking out there. You can see how much bone sticks out over here and the sesamoids are really displaced. Toes crossing over the second toe. But afterwards, there it is. That's today's x-ray. We've been splinting it over because it had such a large deformity but we can see how nice the first metatarsal is with the great toe and the sesamoids are right back where they need to be. Look how straight that second toe is. And so let's take it out, take a look at Alan's foot. We'll take a look at this before and after picture that was immediate. You can see the severity of that right there. It was right after surgery, the right picture, and this is what it looks like today. Just shy of two weeks after surgery. So Alan, how's it going? Very good. Yeah. I feel great and the foot looks awesome. Great. And you're heading back to Hawaii. To yes. Today. Finally get to go home. Got a new foot. Yes. Thank you very much. I do yeah. appreciate everything. And you've, uh, you've been told by um, another foot doctor that 
you probably shouldn't get it done because uh, it would hurt like hell or something like it, that. It, it would have been a fusion of the the two toes involved. You did tell me six weeks of bed rest for each toe, six months of healing for each toe. First guy told me so a year in total, which was ridiculous. So I'm glad I'm here. It's right. only been like two weeks, yeah. and I've been walking, you know, hobbling around since day one, and yeah. I can walk pretty good now. Yeah. Great. And he's got that boot. You need to wear that boot for another two weeks before you're back in your tennis shoes, right? Yes. All right. Two weeks to go before you're in tennis shoes. All right. Mm -hmm.